Welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be creating a custom pipe. In order for components to work, we need to follow specific procedures, such as creating specific names for dimensions, sketches, extrusions, and so on. Let's begin with a sketch. It'll be on the front plane. Right-click on the front plane. Insert sketch. Now let's activate the circle tool. Let's drop two concentric circles that represent the inside and outside edges of my pipe. Dimension. The inner dimension. Diameter will be 2.1 inches. OK. And the diameter of the outer circle will be 2.4 inches. OK. Now let's rename the dimension D2 to outer diameter. When renaming dimensions, ensure that you use one word, no spaces. And for the second dimension, let's rename it to inner diameter. Again, same requirements, one word, no spaces. And let's exit the sketch. Now I'm going to slowly double click on sketch one and I'll rename it pipe sketch. And let's exit the sketch. Now we'll create an extrusion. Activate the extruded boss tool. The extrusion will be in the positive Z direction. Let's make it one inch. Okay. And let's rename it with a slow double click. We'll call it Extrusion. Now let's right click on Annotations and select Show Feature Dimensions. And the Length Dimension. Let's rename it Length. And click OK. Let's create one more sketch. Right click, Insert Sketch. This sketch will control the pipe's nominal diameter. Dimension, 2 inch diameter. OK. And let's call this dimension nominal diameter. Again, one word, no spaces. Let's accept and exit the sketch. And we'll rename Sketch 2 as well. We'll call it Filter Sketch. OK, let's click on File, go to Properties, Configuration Specific tab. Let's go to Property Name. I'll enter Pipe Identifier. The type will be text. The value needs to be something descriptive and unique for each configuration. I'm going to enter 2 inches. And then I'm ready to click OK. Next, we need to create a design table. Let's go to Insert, Tables, Design Table. For the source, I'll use Auto Create. Let's click OK. Now we select all the dimensions we created and click OK. Notice that we're missing the pipe identifier. Let's close the table by simply clicking in the graphic area. Go to the Configurations tab, expand the Tables folder, and right-click on our Design Table. Edit Tables. Now let's select the Pipe Identifier and click OK. Just stretch this out a bit. OK, let's copy and paste row 3 to row 4. Copy. Right-click on row 4 and paste. Let's just change some of the values. This is going to be 2 inches. Let's call it 3 inches. Inner diameter for the second configuration will be 3.1. Outer diameter, 3.4 inches and here 3 inches. Now we're ready to exit the design table. We just click in the graphic area to exit. 
As you see, SolidWorks generates two new configurations, 2 inches and 3 inches. Let's click OK. Let's delete the default configuration now. In order to do so, I need to select a different configuration to make it active. Now right-click on Default and select Delete, Yes to confirm. I can see the nominal value for the 3-inch configuration didn't register. Let's right-click on the Design table, Edit, Edit Table, Cancel Out, Nominal Diameter will be 3 inches, and click in the graphic area to exit the table. OK, now we've got all the dimensions in place. And let's go ahead and save our part now. I'm going to call it 103. Next, I'd like to place this part in my SolidWorks design library. Let's go to Routing, Piping, Pipes. And we simply left-click and grab it from the tree and drop it right over here. The Add to Library Property Manager opens. We'll give it a new name. I'll call it My Pipe and accept. Now let's create a new assembly document. New document, assembly, OK. Let's cancel out of this property manager. Select pipes in the library. And here is our new pipe, my pipe. Let's drag in a flange first, though. Let's select a matching configuration, 2 inches, OK. The assembly must be saved. Yes, let's do that. We'll call it 103. Type of document, assembly, and save. Now let's bring in the pipe we just created. Select My Pipe and click Open. Under Base Configuration, since we only have one 2-inch configuration, we see the single option. The other properties I will leave as default and click OK to exit the Route Properties Property Manager. And here is our pipe. Let's exit. Now let's select the route in the design tree. Right click, edit route. Let's change the route diameter. Ensure driving is checked. And as you see, we have a single 3 inch configuration right here. Let's accept and click Yes. And exit part editing mode. This concludes our lesson about creating a custom pipe.